hello guys this is silver here again welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys another powerful boom and crash strategy a strategy that you can use to grow your ten dollar account or even a five dollar account all right as long as you can use it to open a position then with this strategy you'll be able to grow it all right so now without wasting much of our time i'm going to first of all share with you the indicator setting then after that i'm going to be showing you how the strategy works all right so now the first thing you have to do here is to click on this icon this one here so after clicking on the icon you can see here we have two moving average and then after that the indicator window then up you can see the rest indicator under the indicator window so the first indicator here you can see that is the moving average right you click on the first one and these are the parameters right so the period here is 10 the shift is minus 5 the method is linear width the apply to we have close under the style we have four pixel the color is green you click on save now the moving average here is um you can see the period for this one is seven the shift is five the method is linear width the apply to is close the style we have four pixel the color is red so after that you click on save now we are done with the two moving average right now before you add the moving average, this is the icon you'll be clicking on right before you add the two moving average so after adding that you still click on it this particular icon again to add the average directional movement index which is this one right here so you click on it now the period for this one is going to be one now under this tie you see i made here one pixel one pixel one pixel and then the color i use the color of my background which is white all right you can see i'm using a white background all right so you make everything here white now for the level which is very important all right you click on this area now you are going to change you are going to add like four levels so for you to add the levels I'm going to be clicking on this icon, this plus icon up here, right? So you add like four, and then you make the setting 90, 10, 5, and 95, right? The pixel is two, and then the color is black. So you go back and you click on save. Now, when you add the um, every directional movement index, you are going to have this second F icon here. So after creating this icon, you are now going to add the moving average, right? So after clicking on that F icon, you search for moving average. Now the moving average, the setting for this moving average is the same as the um, second one, right? Or you can just screenshot this, just screenshot it so that you will not get confused after that you click on save all right now now after adding the moving average the last uh, indicator here is going to be the parabolic star right which is this one right here all right so before you add the parabolic star you are still going to click on this second f icon to add that so now you can see these are the parameters right to so this step you are to change it to 0 0.05 right and the maximum you, ch you change it to 0 0.05 also now under this tie you make it to pixel and then you use the default color here right so after that you go click on save and then you go back now when you do everything correctly I'm going to be having a screen like this one all right your screen is going to be looking like this one okay now we are done with the setup now how does this strategy work there are some conditions you need to observe before taking an entry 
with this strategy right a simple conditions right this strategy is very simple to understand so now first of all you are going to be waiting for a spike right this is this is not a, a spike catching strategy all right we use this strategy to scalp the the small small candles here the small small candles all right so it's not a spike catching strategy now you are going to wait for a spike so whenever there is a spike and you see that this moving average here this moving average the red moving average has gotten to the overbought level right this is boom so we are going to be selling right so whenever you see that the moving average has gotten to the overbought level right now that is the first condition now the second condition is that you are going to wait for this green moving average here to cross the red moving average right now the green has crossed the danger line which is the red moving average but immediately you see that it has crossed it you are to go in for five candles all right normally you are supposed to be taking 10 candles with this strategy but i would advise you just stick to five you trade the one that you know you are going to be safer with all right so you stick to five right but if you're having a big account size like a hundred dollar account you can like take 10 candles with this strategy right? but if you're having a small account then i, I, I would advise you take just five and, and then you are out all right with time you are going to grow the account so just stick to five and you'll be safer with five okay now you can see immediately it got to the overbought level the green crosses the red you go in and your five candle is going to be yours here all right so this is how the strategy work you can see here again you go in immediately touch the overbought level you go in you wait for the you wait for the green to cross the red and then you go in for your five candles same thing applies to um crash all right now this strategy you have to use it on boom and crash 1000 only all right don't use it on the crash 500 and boom 500 okay just only use it on the boom and crash 1000 because those are the two i've tested it on and i've seen that it's working very well all right so those are the one i recommended you use it on okay so now you can see here on crash it has gotten to the the 10 and 5 level which is the oversold level here now you wait for your green to cross above the red and then you go in for your five candles right which is safer okay but like i said if you're having a big account you can go for 10 candles all right now so that is that about for this strategy you have seen how the strategy work with my two conditions that i have just given all right and now what is left is that it's for you now to go and test the strategy for yourself all right i always say you should go and back test it for like a hundred times and see how good it's working all right or you can demo trade it for like two weeks or three weeks or even a month self to see if it's really good all right to see how your result is then before you can go in with your real money all right so don't just take my words for it you should go and back test the strategy for yourself also and see if it's really working just like i've said before you can go in with your real money okay so i think that is going to be all for this strategy all right so if you are a new viewer coming across my channel for the first time please go smash that subscribe button click on the notification bell so that whenever i post a powerful strategy like this you are going to get notified immediately and um, please guys don't forget to click on that and uh, like icon also all right don't forget to click on the like button give this video a like so that youtube can help recommend it to others who will be needing it also okay as you do that may you be blessed all right and before you ask for those of you who are going to be asking for the zoom level you have to zoom out completely right and then you zoom in twice one two this is the zoom level i always use for my strategies all right so it's as simple as that all right so i don't think there's anything more to say regarding this strategy you can use the strategy without um following the trend of the market okay you can use it on any trend but it's safer you use it on a downtrend whenever you are in 
boom 1000 and it's also safe i use it on an uptrend whenever you are on crash okay if you are following the trend it's going to you are going to be safer all right so i recommend you always analyze from the higher time frame to see and the trend you are on and then you can apply the strategy to, it's, it's going to be a bonus for you all right but you can use it without analyzing the trend okay once you see the condition being met on the one minute time frame like this you can go ahead and take your entry all right so that is pretty much everything i have for you guys on today's video i'll be seeing you in the next video thanks for watching silver out